Hey everybody, it's your boy Midnight coming to you live on Weekly Geekdom, and for some reason, my camera's acting weird again. So you're just not going to see my face for the next few seconds. Anyway, um, eh, somebody's getting arrested outside, but um, yeah, today I'm going to do a trailer reaction for you to the new Jennifer Lawrence movie, uh, No Hard Feelings, and then we're going to go into an article about Will Smith's uh, come back and see where he's at post Slapgate. Also, don't forget to do this. Join our mission to a thousand subscribers. Yes, we are looking to. Uh, we, we, we are building a brand here. We are building a nation. We are building a collective, and we would love for you all to uh, continue to sub to our channel, like our videos, uh, and uh, comment on our videos. Let us know what you enjoy. Let us know what you don't like. Things we can improve on. Things we can do better. Things uh, that you want to see more of. How can we can expand our creativity? Whatever it is that you would like to see, we are here to provide it. So, guys, without further ado, let's jump into weekly geekdom. Hopefully, I can show you my lovely face momentarily and uh, jump right into this trailer for Heart No Hard Feelings. Um, let me expand this here and uh, let me see if I can pop up gracefully. There I am. Look at that. I've got boots and boots right behind me. Why? Because I am your favorite fearless hero. Tis me. <laughs> Um, yes, so uh, without further ado, let's jump into this reaction. Hi, mind if I touch your wiener? What? Your dog. <laughs> very well played, Jayla. Very Stop. well played. Gary! Court order for asset seizure. So they're taking my car? You went radio silent on me. Is that what this is about? Just last night, and I thought, I missed that fucker. Is that true? Buongiorno! That's my what cousin. Is... Gary, I swear to God, he's my cousin. Oh, no. He's oh, my second cousin. wow. There's something seriously wrong with you. <laughs> I'm an Uber driver and I don't have a car. I'm going to lose my house. Oh, oh, I think oh. I chose him. Look at this. Need a car date her. our son this summer and bring him out of his She's, shop. Um, in exchange. Oh, my you? gosh. What was her name? Hope in Parks and Rec? Yes, that was Hope. I love her. Yeah, she's a great actress. I really like her. You look regal. Date is in quotes. It's gotta be a joke, right? No, have you seen these helicopter parents? I'm surprised they're not gonna fuck them themselves. I forgot when I've seen him. Shoot. We've just been so worried about our son. He's going to Princeton in the fall. <gasps> yeah, you know, we tried everything to bring him out it's of the Matthew show. Matthew Broderick! Yeah, this is crazy! He doesn't come out of his room. He doesn't talk to girls. He doesn't drink. So when you say date him, do you mean date him, him or date him? Yes. Date him. Date him hard. Okay. <laughs> I'll date his brains out. He volunteers at the animal shelter. Hi. Mind if I touch your wiener? What? Your dog. How about I give you a ride home? Um, this isn't the way to my house. It's a shortcut. You're my hostage. What you got down there? Something for me? <laughs> Why? You tried kidnapping me! You're 19. Grow up! This kid is unfuckable. Have a drink together. He'll have a Long Island iced tea. This is the worst iced tea I've ever had. Dance party. I don't know what to do. I just know my mom would have wanted me to save the house. He's probably just nervous. Why don't you loosen him up? We can go skinny dipping. What about sharks? Men here. Jellyfish? Not the season. It's really the lack of lifeguards. Just get, get in the water. Right okay. <laughs> I'm just a bit of a romantic. He's actually really sweet. The best part about getting older is not giving a fuck what people think. I'm an adult now. I can make my own decisions. That's that's good. You want to save her? You save her. Come on, you're getting out of here. You don't belong here. Don't touch me. Get away from her. Stay. 
That's just perfect timing. Fire in the hole, I guess. <laughs> wow. Wow. Out. J-Law. She's back. I still got to watch Causeway, by the way. Apple TV. Brian Tyree Henry getting Best Supporting Act nomination. Nah, No Hard Feelings looks like it's going to be the comedy of the summer. And I am here for it. Um, kid doesn't know what to do. He's got this fine lady in front of him. She's trying to put these moves on, man. It's just not working. There's your story. It's great. Trying to get her money for her, getting her life back. Matthew Broderick, it's great to see him. Uh, geez. Then got hope from Parks and Rec. Love to see her. Man, yeah, look, this is like, it's going to be a fun movie. Raunchy is, I don't know what. I mean, definitely going to be raunchy. <laughs> Can I touch your wiener? Dog. Like he said, perfect joke setup. Oh uh, yeah, no, it, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun, and I honestly, uh, I'm going to be looking forward to seeing that. Um, I don't think I've, I actually haven't seen Jennifer Lawrence do a comedy, and I know Silver Linings Playbook was kind of a comedy as well. Um, but no, she's she she she's got it. So I'm I'm definitely curious. Um, to see and check that movie out. It's from the director of Good Boys. So, and I didn't see that one, but I've heard things about it. Like, okay, so I know that style is going to be kind of reflected here. Um, and like I said, can't wait to see it. Can't wait to check it out. Uh, I'm excited for when it comes out. So, guys, be on the lookout for that. And it was the Red Band trailer. Come on, just get the, in the water. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sitting there arguing on the beach, and they're just like, "What about sharks? But this and then that, and just get in the water. You got a beautiful woman right here. She's trying to get you. Just get in the water, man. Get, get in the water. And unless she's singing to you, and she's got a fin, and she's trying to seduce you and eat you, that's not the case at all. Again, the camera's acting up. Anyway, so I'm going blank for a moment, but I will share this with you as we start to segue because I, I just, it's been a long day. And this is starting to frustrate me, <laughs> this camera. So we're just going to jump jump into the Will Smith article. Sorry about that, guys. I know it's just now it's just time constraints because I want to be able to make sure that everything looks good. And if my camera, it's, I, I just don't like when it does that. So um, let's pull up this here article with Will Smith. Um, glad you guys can see that. Um, now let me see if my camera can come back on. I'm still freezing, so you'll just be hearing my voice for the moment. Will Smith's comeback attempt, how he plans to regain movie star status with Bad Boys 4 and Netflix's Fast and Loose. Now, it's funny how this uh, article comes out now at post uh, Chris Rock's stand-up special, which I have seen uh, not all the way through, but, you know, I've seen, like, the latter half of it. And uh, he definitely, definitely... um did not hold back at all. Uh, we all know the whole slap situation. Um, Jada, again, I'm anti Jada Pinkett Smith <laughs> because he caused all this, and even Chris Rock makes a makes a joke about her causing all this, saying that um, talking about how Will didn't get nominated for a concussion, and you know the whole Oscar so white situation, and you know, she called out, she said Chris Rock should be ashamed. He shouldn't even host that time. So she called him out and that's how things kind of not really got started, but kind of like a spark, you know, to initiate what happens years down the line, which turned into Slapgate, which turns into selective outrage. But um, yeah, he did not hold back at all. He didn't hold back at all. But and all I'm going to say is uh, I really hope the situation calms down because I honestly, listen, I'm tired of the drama. Uh, J Jada and Will doing that whole thing of, you know, interviewing online about like her cheating. And Chris Rock makes a joke saying, um, <laughs> he, said, <laughs> he says, um, you know, so 
I sucked a friend's son's dick. How did that make you feel? And just puts the mic in your face. It's just like, yeah, yeah you know, we've all been cheated on. But uh, to be interviewed on live TV? Yeah, no. Anyway, so um, I, I, I love Will Smith. I've always loved Will Smith. Uh, he's, he's always been a great actor to me, an inspiration as an actor to me. Um, and I, I always love what he does. He's just got this factor to him. Uh, he's, he's, he's got this presence that he brings on screen, this emotion that he brings. He's funny. He can be dramatic. He's, he's great. So um, I would like to see, I haven't seen Emancipation, but I would like to see Will Smith, you know, step into his own post. It's like, yeah, okay, we all know about the slap, but stepping forward and not even like, I, I want to see him take something on where it just floors everybody and the slap is completely forgotten about. Maybe him and Chris Rock need to do a movie together and really hash out those feelings like a therapy session. Maybe um, Will's the therapist and Chris Rock is the victim or Will's the victim. However it's done. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not even that. Maybe they play detectives and they have this beef with each other and they're forced to work together to solve this crime, but they had some sort of history that um, causes them to, that, that really makes them not want to work together, but during that case, they have to solve their issues just to be able to get to it. See, I'm just coming off with this off the dome. I'm telling you, I could sell that movie. I'm here for it. But let's jump into the article. I'm sitting here coming up with ideas. Come on. So, let's see what we've got here. One year after the slap that shook the industry, Will Smith is getting ready to return to acting. While the Men in Black star has kept a mostly low profile in the 12 months in slapping presenter Chris Rock at last year's Oscar ceremony, he is now prepping for his first acting gig since the incident that sparked headlines around the world and a still simmering news cycle. Well, he already did Emancipation, so that's this can't be his first gig since the incident. I mean, unless he already did. Oh, no, that's right. I think Emancipation was already done. And it was just coming out later in the year. So, okay, all right, that's fair. Anyway, sources say that Will Smith is looking to reestablish his commercial bona fides and is poised to shoot Sony's Bad Boys 4 and Netflix's Fast and Loose back-to-back. -back. Okay, here's my whole issue with the whole Bad Boys 4. The title for Bad Boys 3 should have been for Bad Boys 4. I think Bad Boys 3 should have been bad. the Bad Boys are back. That's what it should have been, or... Now, that's what I feel like it should have been. Uh, or bad bad boys back in action. Like, you know, like that's what it should have been instead of bad boys for life. And now you have the fourth one coming out if you really wanted to play on the old uh, terminology and everything. I mean, come on now. Jeez. Anyway, um, that strategy would mark a pivot from his last two movies, Warner Brothers King Richard and Apple's Emancipation, which were viewed as award season plays rather than studio temples. Although King Richard drummed up a moderate box office business of $39 million worldwide, it earned less than Smith's ultimate payday, including back end $40 million. Smith's paycheck ballooned after Warner Brothers decided to release King Richard in theaters at the same time it deb debuted on HBO Max, with the studio opting to give the star his full bonus as they make good for the change in distribution plans. Nice. But even if the film's ticket sales were mediocre. King Richard did bring Smith the Best Actor Oscar trophy. Yes, unlike Emancipation, which failed to earn any Oscar nominations, including one for Best Actor, despite Smith's 35, 35, 35 million dollar payday. But post slap, studio executives were hesitant to jump back into business with Smith, despite being one of the industry's biggest stars. Everyone was waiting to see who would blink first, says one high-ranking executive at a major studio who was reluctant to work with Smith just yet. It isn't so much what he did. It was what he did after. Wow. Wow. Interesting. Fascinating. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, but listen, everyone loves these second chance comeback stories. We've had it with so many different people over the years. I mean, most notably, uh, a personal favorite story is the comeback of uh, Robert Downey Jr. And how he was, you know, one of the most prolific actors, and I mean, still is, but at the time, I mean, dude was just killing it. Uh, and then drugs got the best of him, had to come back, back to the drugs, had to come back. Iron Man puts him back on the map, and he's taking over the world um, and wraps it around in a suit of armor and then sacrifices himself at the end of the game. <laughs> but, um, yes, I, I mean, everybody, every, listen, listen, listen. Will Smith, what he did, it, 
it wasn't right. It wasn't right by any means. It was his first incident where he actually got in trouble with something. And personally, I think that it warrants him getting that second chance. You know, um, we've on this channel, we've talked a lot about the whole Ezra Miller situation and the double standards that I feel is going on with that situation. And this and, you know, now the possibility of I hope it's not true. I'm pretty sure it's not true. But there were things floating around about Ezra Miller possibly or executives of Warner Brothers possibly keeping Ezra Miller. But it's like you've all you got this whole rap sheet of things that you've been doing, man. Will Smith just has the one thing and had all these things taken away from him and projects and money and people were just going after him. And it was just it's just it was terrible. But I I think that um, you know, it's been it's been a year, he's been you know, being low key, um, I think people should find room to forgive him and, you know, start to move forward with things. Let's not focus so much on that. OK, like, obviously, I'm pretty sure he had a lot of soul searching to do. And after after that incident, yeah, I mean, it was live TV. It was at the Oscars. It, it was your night, your big night where you actually won, you know, um, so it's kind of embarrassing. But uh you know, how do you recover from that? That's why I hope that he gets something, some kind of project where he can really sink his teeth into and just floor everybody that the, and make it as if the, the slap never even happened. Honestly, that's that's what I'm hoping. Uh, but here we go. Uh, but post slaps. Uh, oh, I already read that part. So sorry. Um, that aligns with prevailing wisdom in town that Smith would have been better off. He would have been. I'm sorry. That aligns with prevailing wisdom in town that Smith would have been better off. He somebody should have revised this article. Would have been better off if he'd thank if missing a word there clearly if he'd been kicked out the ceremony after charging the stage and striking rock rather than returning to his seat, accepting his best Oscar, giving a speech, and then dancing at the Vanity Fair party where he captured where he's captured on video singing along to his rap hit. Getting jiggy with it, nah, nah, nah. I love that song so much. Uh, no, no, no copyright here. Uh, yeah, so let's see where are we? Bam, okay. The thought, however, was that at the time was that the time would soften attitudes while the public seemed to have moved on from Smith's shocking moment. The news cycle kicked back into high gear following Rock's March 4th live Netflix comedy special, Selective Outrage, which eviscerated Smith and his family. The slap definitely dinged uh, Smith's u- uber in demand status, at least temporarily. One month before the Rock in- incident, Netflix greenlit fast and loose, but the studio put the project on pause following the slap sources say netflix only decided to move forward with the big budget action thriller about the leader of a criminal organization who suffers from memory loss from an attack wow okay uh after sony greenlit bad boys 4 netflix definitely wasn't willing to be the first studio to get back into business with will says one source familiar with the deal making those looking for a bargain by getting into business with a tarnished star should look elsewhere while the CAA re, uh, rep Smith has received a tepid reception in Hollywood post slap, he remains one of the highest paid movie stars. Uh, sources say Smith is getting his 25, 25 million quote on both Bad Boys 4 and Fast and Loose. Money! My goodness! Meanwhile, Smith has mostly stayed out of the public eye for over the past year outside of highly choreographed appearances to promote emancipation. He did, however, pop up quietly at one event, the August wedding of Bad Boys 4 director Adil El Arbi in Morocco. El Arbi says Smith was able to offer some comfort when he and co-director Bilal Fala learned that their nearly finished movie Batgirl. Oh, they were the ones who were doing it. Okay. I wonder if they also had something. No, that's a different director that dealt with Moon Knight. I just was wondering if they had uh, any ties to that as well. Okay, had been scrapped by Warner Brothers Discovery in a co- uh, uh, Warner Brothers Discovery in a cost cutting measure. The film will never be released, so the company can get a tax write off. Jeez. <laughs> it was two days after the wedding, and Will Smith was there. He was like, "What's happening? Oh my God!" LRB tells Variety, and he said, "Really? Don't worry about it. Just one tip. Don't go on social media." Nice. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Um, 
I, I'm ready for a Will Smith comeback. I mean, who, who's not ready for a Will Smith comeback? I think uh, Will Smith, like I said, he's done his he's done his time. Let him come back. Let him do what he does, and let him entertain us the way that we know he can. Again, um, I think that it's right now. It's a better time than ever. So, I'm hoping to see more of Will Smith. Um, maybe, maybe we'll see him direct something at some point. That would be bonkers. You know what I mean? Like if Will Smith directs something, and it's like. Top notch. I mean, best picture worthy. No one's talking about that slot. No one's talking about it. That right there would shut everybody up. Yes, he has his best actor, uh, his his best actor. But if he messes around, directs something, and gets best director and best picture, it sweeps, and maybe he writes it himself. I don't know. But I'm just saying, Will, all you got to do is do it. Just do it. I'm here for it. I really am here for it. You've become an enemy of the state. Uh, you signed your giant Hancock. Uh, I'm pretty sure you didn't gain seven pounds, but, um, you know, you are clearly now on a pursuit of happiness. <sighs> but don't do it after Earth. Because that'll just leave you, you know, leave you hitched. Oh my gosh, I'm getting out of here. Guys, uh, no, this was great. This was fun. Love doing this solo episode. Here I am. There may be some more of these. If you want. Hey, I'm here for it. Love Weekly Geek Do. I'm going to bring you this every week. Next week, next week is kind of tentative on what the topic is going to be. I'm really hoping that we can do what I'm thinking. Um, But that also involves schedules. So we will see. Um, if we can get our boy Padawan Frito uh, to be on here and Don to be on here for next week's uh, episode, it'll be great. It's, I'm not going to say it. Just know uh, the character from this guy's recent movie will be involved. Just saying. So, guys, like I said, uh, please join, go on ahead. Subscribe to us, give us a like, comment, hit that bell so you know every time we post up a video. And, um, you know, hey, we'll see you guys on Sunday for Geek Them Uncut. I hope that you have a great rest of your evening. And, um, hey, stay safe out there. Bye bye. <laughs>